Good evening. This is Gary Lucas, and welcome to Culture Connection. Culture Connection, curated by Daniel Zaleski, and now in its seventh year at the Queen's Public Library, is proud to present international artists from emerging talent to award-winning masters. These disciplines include music, theater, author talks, and film. Now expanding into a virtual format, Culture Connection is currently reaching a global audience. Hi everyone, welcome to Culture Connection. This is Fei Fei. It's been a while since the last time I see you, isn't it? Time flies. I hope everything is well. I want to thank Daniel Zelensky, who running this program for so many years. This program has been so successful in Queen's Library. But this is the first time for Mr. Gary Lucas and I joined to the Culture Connection family. We're so excited. And thank you for Queen's Library. Thank you for every staff who has been working so hard to make this happen. Let's get music and art keep moving. Today is the day of the Lunar New Year. Yep, that's the day. And this is the year of the ox. I hope everyone will enjoy today, enjoy the year, have a wonderful year in the year of the ox. Now we're bringing you the edge of heaven. fantastic uh, vocalist that I feel very proud and lucky to be working with for a long time. Uh, Gary and I have this project for a while and we are so honored that Queen's Library during this uh, 2021 Chinese New Year season invited us for this concert. Yes, and we hope to uh, entertain you with a mix of some 30s and 40s Chinese pop, very uh, indelible, beautiful music that came out of Shanghai. Uh, and then also we have some surprises, which we'll get to later on. Yep, of course. Okay. So the next song is uh, The Wall. Fei Fei can tell you more about it. Yes, The Wall actually is from uh, one of my favorite singers from that age, uh, called Bai Guang White Light. The name actually comes from, you know, the uh, when the theater gets start uh, to play a movie, there's always a light back then through this bag and then 
uh, have this project projector there, so there's a white light. So that is why she named herself White Light. But originally, that's not her name. She has a beautiful voice, and this song wall is from her. <laughs> two of the best of what was known as the seven great singing stars. And uh, we're doing another number by Bai Wang, White Light, right now, which is known as If I'm Without You. Thank you. 
beautiful. So it's a right. young and you, great airplane. Thank you, Gary. Yes. Wonderful. And uh, doesn't she look great in this cheap eye? I don't think I, I mentioned it, but I gotta say it again. <laughs> I've been after her for many a uh, year. We've been doing this <laughs> to wear a cheap eye on stage. Yeah, that's a Chinese New Year's season, why not? Yeah, why not? This is the year of the ox. So what is your zodiac? Oh, I am actually in the Western zodiac. I am the uh, Gemini, double Gemini, but in Chinese astrology, I'm a dragon. Oh, you're a dragon. Yeah. Wow, leadership. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I try. Born a leader. No, but, she's the lead, but she's really leading this. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, you know, very uh, honored to Yeah, uh, we love working together. with each other. Yeah, definitely. In this yeah. project. Um, so what do we have next? Okay, we're going to do a song by the... Uh, to me, there are two standout singers from the golden age of Shanghai pop. 1930s and 40s, and that would be Bai Guang, which we've already covered, and now the great Zhou Xuan, who yeah. you may have seen in a wonderful film from 1937, her first film called The Angel on the Street. Yeah, by Huan Muzi, I think is the name of the director, and I think Zhou Xuan was about 16 or 17 when she made the song, but it, it made her a huge star all over China. And uh, you probably know the song, The Songstress on the Edge of Heaven. I've seen a clip from the film on YouTube. I've never seen the whole film, but it's really something else. And she's speaking to birds in the tree. Yeah. I think she's in love <laughs> in, this, 
in this particular moment, but she looks a bit crazy and she acts crazy. In the movie? In the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, in this scene. It's really cute. So. Well, that's cool. Karen knows more than I do. Um, <laughs> I'd love to see all of these films. I, you know, the problem for me is, of course, they need to be translated, I'm sorry to say. But I'm working on it. I really am. To sing this song. Yeah, this song is a little bit It's a little bit jiggy, but we love, but, uh, we love, love this it. song. Yes. Later. Okay, Gary is putting on my glasses. I'm putting on the glasses <laughs> for this one because this one is a very, it sounds simple. It's a blues. It's a Chinese blues. Oh, yeah, I blues, love, I love that. Uh, by Josh Wynn, but it's really tricky to play in any way. <laughs> and it's called Two, Two Roads. Roads. And why don't you explain that? Concept. Yes, two roads means two like two roads. Um, I don't know if it's based on a movie, but it sounds. It, it I sounds, think it is from a film. But I mean, right, yeah. because that age, you know, that that's the golden age for Chinese movies, the 30s and 40s, yeah. 40s in Shanghai. Um, so this song is talking about this girl in the daytime. She's very happy in the road as she sees the crowds, she sees the cars running, and she's very excited. But at night, maybe she's tired, exhausted because of make a living. Back then, you know, the old age, and then she felt lonely and she felt a little bit sad and looking at the the, uh, the stars and the moons on the road, maybe she's begging home. So two roads.
with your permission, I'm going to play one of my favorite Chinese pop songs. Though it comes a little bit later, I believe it was recorded around 1950 or 51, and it's by the great Yao Li, who the last time I checked, she was still alive at something like age 91 or two. And it's so beautiful that uh, this song was actually a hit on the American pop charts with a totally different lyric. Uh, and it was sung by a white pop singer named Frankie Lane. And uh, so, and actually, Americans have <laughs> shown that they love Chinese music even if they don't really realize it or recognize it. So this is called Rose, Rose, I Love You. make a switch to 12-string guitar on a beautiful song. You may have heard this song. Oh, I yeah. don't know. Probably have heard this song. Everyone, right? Hallelujah by a great Leonard Cohen. Yeah, so Gary actually asked me to translate the song and then it turned out to be this one of my favorite songs of all the songs untranslated. Um, it's very touching. Every time when I sing it with Gary, it just deeply connected me with the melody and everything so I can't even uh, you know take myself out of a song sometime after performance um, so thank you Gary Whoa. again for having me for My this pleasure. project at your heaven and then happy new year here's a hallelujah
前有空没上你的气，答案不是胜利后的足迹。也许天堂里真有个上帝，但我在爱里只学会了互相伤害，才能保护我自己。这不是深夜的哭泣，也不是谁邂逅了光明，是一句冷酷残缺。Gibson guitar. It's older than me, if you can believe it. And it says, uh, <laughs> "Only a Gibson is good enough." Up there, and uh, I love it for this, especially bluesy number. So here we took this classic song by Bob Dylan, who's my just a, he he is my favorite all around artist, and uh, I particularly love the song, which is "All Along the Watchtower." Yeah. So I have Faith Faith translate it. She'll gonna explain a little. Yeah, this is another one I really like. It's a uh, rock and roll style.
Today, I'm going to, if you go to Gary Lucas' YouTube channel, I'm going to premiere a clip that has Fefe and I and images, great Chinese images. Check it out. On and YouTube, then, uh, Gary's channel. Yeah, so, uh, all right, so next, we're going to do Country Road. Oh, yeah, I love this song. And I just want to say, this is a song that was written by John Denver, who was the first Western singer-songwriter to actually visit and play in China. Yes. So everybody knows this song. Country Rose, yeah. uh, Gu Xiang Lu, so I translated it into Mandarin as well. Uh, we really loved it. Yeah. Hope you like it. Let's go. 
Um, I guess each animal is associated with a certain uh, traits and feature and character yeah. uh, that bring from the animal. For example, ox, we all know is very diligent and work really hard, but sometimes can be starburn. And um, Gary, you are a dragon. Dragon, right? dragon is hard. It's really um, good leadership and really uh, like to take into control. Has this uh, aura of a leader, which, which Gary, just like exactly like Gary on the stage. Uh, if you a, a few of them, I remember a few of them like a dog. If you have a sign like a dog, that means you're very loyal. If you're a monkey, you're very smart. And if you're a pig, actually you're very lucky because think about it, it just yeah. staying there and eat all good food. <laughs> so it's very it's a fun, it's a fun story. Yeah. Um, but in the end of our concert, Gary will sing in Mandarin with me. <laughs> I only do this on special occasions. When the moon is full. <laughs> yes, moon represents my heart. And this is a Teresa Tang song, and Fei Fei taught it to me. Yes, and then Gary learned so hard, and oh, Gary, I, Gary's manner is so good. No, 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 but I did practice it a lot, so <laughs> pardon me for all you Mandarin native speakers. But here we go. You're, you're fine, you're right, fine, you're good. Here. Let it be the everyone. year of the ox. Let the ox 
drag us out of the ditch of all of our problems <laughs> into a beautiful future. Yes, I believe so. Yes. Everybody, 新年快乐! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Awesome. That was good. Yeah, that was good. This is so long. That's okay. <laughs> it's like, don't worry. Don't worry. All right, so Sorry about that. Here we go. Hold We're going to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this dress is very hard to play. I know. <laughs> it's awfully sexy. And I can't keep my eyes off their face. Yes. It's all good. about the dress. That's why I'm like screwing up. No. of heaven. Oh. 